Okay, my DHCP server is up and running, and I just fired up a client computer using uh, on the same virtual network. So you saw my little bar over here saying I was connected to IT146.local. Now, I didn't actually do anything to do that other than plugging this into the same network, the same virtual switch, and getting the DHCP server up and running. Windows clients are set to, for that matter, all Windows devices are set to automatically pull an address via DHCP. And we can see that by coming to our network and internet settings. Let me go to Ethernet and change adapter options. I want to do it this way. Look at my Ethernet adapter. And TCP IV4 is set to obtain an IP address automatically and obtain a DNS server automatically. So if I go to my command prompt, we'll look at this from both the client side and the server side. I'm going to give the IP config, and this tells me I have an address of 10.1.1.50 with a default gateway of 10.1.1.1. Now, this doesn't tell me everything. If I do an IP config forward slash all, it will give me some more information, including my DNS server. So right here is my DNS servers that I set up in my DHCP server. And then here's going to be the big one. So lease obtained, lease expired. This tells me when I got my address, when my address is going to expire. And it'll give us a description, physical address, if DHCP is enabled or not, if auto configuration is enabled. Uh, here's the one I was looking for, the DHCP server. That's the device that I got my IP address from. So I got it from here. This is the IP address information. This is when it expires. Okay, this is how I can verify that I'm getting an IP address from a DHCP server. Now, if I do this IP config and I get an address of 169.254. whatever, that's an APIPA address. So typically the reason we see APIPA addresses is if I have the client set up to get an IP address automatically, but it can't contact a DHCP server. So it could be a cabling issue, it could be a switching issue, it could be the fact that the DHCP server is not functioning. So either it's been shut down, it's out of addresses, something like that. So this is how I can verify it from the client. Go to my command prompt and do an IP config. From the server side, here's my server. I'm going to go to my address leases, and I'm going to have to refresh this. And here is my address lease, 10.1.1.50. This is the computer name. Let me go ahead and expand this. This is the computer name that I connected to when the lease, ex or that it leased the address to. It's a DHCP. Here's the unique ID or the MAC address of the device that we leased it to, and any other options. So here is where I'm going to see all of my address leases popping up as I lease more and more addresses. Now I can right click on one and delete it if I want to delete the lease, in which case the client will no longer be able to use that address and I'll have to request another one. I can also add a reservation so that this device with this MAC address, and note that that's based on MAC address, not on device name, but this MAC address will always be assigned to this IP address. So if you want to make a reservation, that's the easy way to do it. Okay, there we go. We have verified both from the client side and from the server side that DHCP is running and that clients are getting IP addresses.